Hi everyone, my name is Twinkle and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to talk about an in-detail and in-depth process of recruitment, hiring and all the experiences that you will go through if you're someone who's eyeing to become a cabin crew for Air India Express. So if you're interested, then keep on watching. First thing that you have to do is apply online. A few weeks back, there were vacancies on and the next vacancies are apparently supposed to be announced on 1st of June, you can go ahead and check that on their official website. The links for the same where you have to apply and, and check out all the details will be left in the description box. Go ahead and check them out. Uh, now I will be talking about what is the process once you go ahead and apply for the same. So to apply for Air India Express, which is wholly owned subsidiary of Air India. This is the low cost arm of Air India, which is headquartered in Kochi, Kerala. The connectivity is 100 plus city and this one is a low cost carrier which was started in April 2005. They usually have short and medium haul international routes as well in the Gulf and Southeast Asia at uh, and the focus is to have a very affordable yet a great experience. So on the Air India's official website, I'll leave the link in the description box, you will see the recruitment advertisement which states the basic requirements some of which are 18 years of age uh, bmi ranging between 18 to 22 some vision requirements spectacles are not allowed there are some conditions of lasik that you should not have gone under surgery uh, within a period of six months or so as in you should have done this uh, six months before only and uh, cosmetic appearance requirements some language proficiency and so on and so forth there are some uh, requirements that you must go ahead and read it out yourself and then you'll see on this side right bottom you will see that click here to apply as soon as you click here you will see a google form something like this that you can see on the screen and here you will be required to fill out your basic information like your full name your mobile number your email address city of residence your height weight and the most important being you need to upload your cv updated cv as well as your full and side profile full length photographs and it clearly states that if you are shortlisted you will be contacted by the hiring partners which is the crew people once your documents are successfully submitted you will receive an email from the crew people stating that you have uh, sent in your documents and that they have received your interest for cabin trip position with air india express and you'll be asked to fill a simple google form which mainly has to state your vision your color vision and your distant vision some details about them and again your full name mobile number and email id once shortlisted, you will receive a video interview invitation, which is also a preliminary round, round three or stage three. And you will be invited for a video interview on Google Meet within a specific day. And there will be a specific timing slot wherein you'll have to appear for an interview. Make sure that you are well dressed with your formals, have minimum makeup on and a good source of light you have to have a bun your hair should be neatly tied and you make sure that your network connection is also very good so that you can give a better shot if you are someone who's a fresher then most probably you'll be only asked questions about a basic knowledge like such as uh, what is your name what is your background tell me about yourself why do you want to become a cabin crew why should we hire you why this airline if you are someone who is experienced then you would be asked questions that why do you want to leave your current company or why did you lease your last company why do you want to join this airline or why the change of career some questions might be about your experience and if it is a relevant experience means in the hospitality or in the customer service field then you can expect questions about customer service and about different situations that you must have faced with customers once you clear the stage you will receive an email from the crew people about the documentation that they require to process your stage three which is the personal interview at this stage they would require you to go ahead and upload your doctor's certificate for general health and a certificate of ishiara eye checkup the formats for both will be attached and you will need to upload them and i have also gone ahead and attached the formats this is the sample report of ishiara test which states 
whether or not you've gone under a lasik surgery if your eye vision color vision is normal what is your distant vision and then here's another general certificate that you can get from any general physician basically that states you are fit for employment you will also be given an option to choose one of your most suitable locations where you can go and visit them for a personal interview you can choose from the given locations these six locations and let them know once everything goes well you can expect yourself to get a personal interview invitation which looks like this where they will tell you about the venue details and will ask you to carry a few documents which will be your high school certificate and um, mark sheet if you're a graduate then an original as well as a photocopy of all these documents your recent profile picture in colored print on a4 size paper aadhar pan card original as well as photocopies passport photocopy the two medical certificates that you submitted them via the google forms which is your general health uh, format test and your ishara test those two forms your updated cv and your experience letters from your previous employers in case obviously if it's applicable if you're an experienced person then an original as well as a photocopy of the same they require you to carry all the photocopies on a good quality a4 paper size only and they ask you to dress in western formals they can be skirt or trousers both are okay with shirt and hair should be neatly tied in a bun again they ask you to have minimum makeup on and you to be on time rather you should be before time and all in all together the details for the venue and exact timing exact venue in of course your chosen location all those details will be provided to you just before your interview so rest assured you there will be another email that talks about the exact location and timing they already have said that it is uh, scheduled to happen in the first week of june and the last week of may and to tell you what is going to happen on that day you can expect to have a aptitude test that will be for 10 minutes there will be a grooming check followed by a bmi and scar check and if you clear all those stages you will go ahead and attend a panel interview now panel interview you can expect more than one or two interviewers that will be interviewing you at the same time post which once you clear the interview the panel interview you can expect yourself to proceed with medicals and any other documentation or any other pieces of information that are expected from you to get closer to your dream job which is being employed with air india express as a cabin crew if you need any suggestions or help with uh, structuring your answers your for basic questions i have a video on my channel i will put the link for that in my description box that is 10 most frequently asked questions interview questions and their answers if at all you are concerned about the aptitude test and you want to get prepared beforehand so to be successful in that aptitude test just remember you got to be well versed and you got to read up about roles and responsibilities in hospitality for a customer service agent for a cabin crew what are the important skills such as teamwork problem solving to be able to communicate and serve guests and teamwork these are all the special skills important skills and many more that are required as a cabin crew and your questions will most probably be based on the approach that they want to assess you if you have these skills or not so whenever you answer a question make sure that you have all these skills in mind if at all it is all about your english test then it will include basic questions basic grammar questions comprehension skills to check your understanding reading there can be essays and so on and so forth but all included it will be very very easy So that was all about the recruitment and the hiring process for Air India Express. If you have any other questions, comments, suggestions, please put it down in the comment section below. I will make sure to get back to you. If you found this video helpful, do not forget to like, share and also subscribe to my channel. If you haven't been following my Instagram, go ahead and check out my Instagram. The links will be in the description box. I will see you in my next video. Till then, take care and bye-bye.